Hi there, today we're going to practice doubling. So to double something means to have two of the same amount. For instance, if I had one of something, to double it I'd have another of exactly the same amount. So that makes two of them. One plus one equals two. Now say I were to have perhaps two of something. So if I had two, if I wanted to double it, how many more would I have? That's right, I'd have two. I would have doubled the amount, and that's the same as two plus two, and that equals four. Okay, let's try practicing doubling on the farm. Here we have two cows. If I were to double that amount, how many cows would I have to add in there? You're right we'd have to have two more. So if we double the cows, we have two cows here, and we have another two cows here. Now, let's add some pigs in. How many pigs do we have there? You're right, we have three. So if we were to double that, how many more pigs would we add in? You guessed it. We'd have three more pigs. Great job on doubling those animals. So what's the benefit of doubling? Well, doubling will allow you to count up faster what it really helps you do is add. So for instance, if I had this number here, two plus three, and I was trying to figure out how much that was. Well, if I know my doubles fact of two plus two, what's two plus two equal? Well, that's right, it equals four. And I know that three is only one more than two, well, then I can just say 4 plus 1, and I find my answer of 5. So that tells me that 2 plus 3 equals 5. Let's try that again. We're going to try a bigger number this time. How about 4 plus 5? Now, there's two ways we could look at this. We can see that we know our doubles fact for 4 plus 4. So, 4 plus 4 equals 8, and 5 is only one more than 4, so that means 8 plus 1 more equals 9. That's one way for us to remember. So we use our doubles fact of 4 plus 4 equaling 8, and then I just looked and said, okay, 5 is one more than 4, Add that in, add that one back in, and I have my answer of nine. Another way we can look at it is, what's five plus five? Well, we know that five plus five equals 10, and five is one more than four. So I have to take one away from that. And what's 10 take away one? Got it, nine. So we get that same answer. See how that doubles fact help us each way. We just have to look if we're adding one more on or we're taking one away or subtracting one. Let's try one more and this time you tell me how to solve it. Here's the number I'm gonna give you. Six plus seven. And what does that equal? Now how are you going to solve that? Well, definitely you want to use your doubles fact. I personally would have chosen to double the six. So six plus six, what does that equal? That's right, it equals 12. And I know that seven is one more than six, so I have to add one more on there. So I add one more back in, and that gives me 13. So six plus seven means it must equal 13. Great job. Today we've been practicing using our doubles to help us with addition. So remember, find your easiest double and check to either add on one or subtract one afterwards. Great job, and I'll talk to you soon about math.